Holy Father Pope Francis is making his first pastoral visit to Japan in this November. He will arrive at Tokyo on 23rd November and fly to Nagasaki and Hiroshima on 24th Sunday, the Feast of the Christ the King. Then he will return to Tokyo on 25th Monday and he will pay visit to Emperor and meet with the Prime Minister, attend the gathering of youth at the cathedral, share pain and sorrow of victims of triple disaster in Tohoku area, and preside over the Mass at Tokyo Dome. It will be a very short visit compared with the last one in 1981 by Pope John Paul II. And we also have to consider advanced age of Pope Francis so that we cannot expect Holy Father to move around Japan like a superman. Even if it will be a short visit, receiving our pastor in our midst will be a great occasion for all of us Catholics to revitalize our faith, hope, and love in Jesus Christ so that as part and parcel of the Universal Church, we might be sent out again to bring good news to all the people in Japan. Today, gospel of life is truly needed in this society where human lives are disrespected, human beings are valued by how much they could contribute to the society, and dis disabled people are marginalized, or sometimes even their rights to live are not respected. So many people have lost their hope for the future, felt isolated as no one cares for them, and cornered to take their own lives away. Isolation, poverty, no respect for human life, and inability to find hope are killing the people. Holy Father is bringing a message of love and hope to let us realize we are all loved by our Creator. He is visiting us with message of respect for human life. To prepare ourselves for His visit, let us take time to go through some of Holy Father's books and messages so that we will be able to follow His examples like sheep following their pastor. And we should not forget to pray for Holy Father.